Hello, today I'm going to take you through the web connector setup for use with the Loopad for QuickBooks. You are emailed instructions. The first thing you want to do is confirm that those instructions have your URL in these two spots. After that, I'm going to go to step one, which is to launch the QuickBooks desktop application. Select the company file to which I am creating this association. And I'm going to close any open dialog boxes that come up. Going back to my instructions, step two says to make sure that we are in multi-user mode. To confirm that we are, I'm going to go to file. And if it says switch to single user mode, that means I'm in multi-user. If not, I would have done the switch. Next, we're going to add the LuliPad for QuickBooks full access user. I'm going to go to company, users, set up users and roles. I'm going to add a new one. And the username is LP4QB all lowercase. And I'm going to give them the full access rights. I'm going to confirm and click OK. It says I did not put in a password. I do not want to add one now. Going back to my instructions, step four now says to close QuickBooks. I'm going to do so by going to file and exit. Step five is to download the QuickBooks web connector. So when I download that, I am using Google Chrome, so my downloads appear on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to double click the web connector installer file and extract all. You can choose the path to where you want to download. Hit extract. After the file is extracted, I'm going to run the web connector installer file and follow the prompts. Go through the wizard, accept the terms, and the installation will take just a couple of minutes. When the installation is done, click finish. Now I'm going to close these two windows. Go back to step six, which is to relaunch QuickBooks. Again, choosing my company file, closing any dialog boxes that are open. And now I'm going to minimize QuickBooks. So step seven is to now save the QuickBooks web connector file. So again, I'm going to download that and make sure that it opens with Web Connector. Once it's open, I'm going to click Yes, always. I want to log in as my LP for QE user. And then I'm going to continue. Hit Yes to the prompt. Hit Done. into the password field here on the web connector. I'm going to put in the password 1234 and save the password. Now going back to my instructions, we've just done steps 9, 10, and 11. Going further down the instructions now, I'm going to click on the link to launch my application, logging in with the credentials provided in the instructions. And when I first log in as admin, it's going to auto direct me to the QuickBooks screen to put in the QuickBooks company file. So as you can see, it says press F2 when we get to the QuickBooks file. So I'm going to reopen QuickBooks, press F2, and that's going to load my company information. I'm going to highlight the location here. And I'm going to hit Control C to copy this information. Then I'm going to go back to my LilyPad for QuickBooks application and hit Control V to paste that information into the QuickBooks company file page. If I have advanced inventory, I'm going to turn that on. And then I can save. Now I'm going to go see that my system's starting to sync. I'm going to go check the items. See that I have items in my application. Check my vendors. I see that vendors have loaded as well. And one more thing, we'll check our customers. Customers have loaded. I am ready to use the LilyPad for QuickBooks application. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.